Hello everybody and welcome to the 97th Hammer Tutorial. Um, you guys voted for this one on my website, so it was originally going to be just covering the game text entity, but I figured that wasn't enough. So we're just going to go over um, delivering messages to the player inside of your level via a text command. Um, there's a few ways you can do this with entities, and of course you can use the overlay if you want to do a fancy font or anything else. Um, just give me a second to load up Hammer. We're actually going to be doing this tutorial in Team Fortress 2 as Counter-Strike and some other Source Engine games do not support all of these entities that we want to use. So once Hammer is loaded, we'll get started. Okay. So inside of Hammer, I have a simple map here. We have player spawn for red and blue, some lights, fun stuff. There's three areas on the ground that are going to be a game text entity the uh, no standard point server command text to um, every player and the HUD hint method. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. This is really simple. So just go ahead and grab your entity tool, drop an entity, and make it a game text. Now there's a few simple things that you can configure on the game text. First one that we're going to have to configure is the name. So I'm just going to call this game text one. And I have message text. This is the message that's going to be shown up. Alright. Now we have an X and Y. These are, this is the positioning on the player's screen of where the text will be displayed. So that way you're not working with resolution because players have different resolutions when they play. So we just want it to use a positioning system 0 through 1 where 0 for X is left 1 is right if you do it negative 1 it'll center it on the screen no matter what so I'm gonna leave left right centered and then for X Y 0 since 0 is the top I'm gonna set this to point 1 so I'll be towards the top of the player's screen sometimes you need a little guess and check with this you have the text effect I'll there's three here fade in and out simple enough credits looks like fade in and out and scan out i'll show you all of these it's all good choose a color that's pretty stock i'm gonna make mine blue um fade in time for character or scan time this is just how long it will take to fade in or how long it'll take to scan the fade out time these are all pretty self-explanatory the whole time is how long it'll stay up for and the scan time for scan effect only I'm just going to be 0 0.25. I'm just going to leave it at that. Now you have a text channel. This is very important. You can only have four game texts active at a time, and they all have to be on different channels. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to create four different channels here, and they're all going to be different texts. So this is going to be channel two. That's going to be channel two. And this is going to be a different message. Channel 2 message, I'll change the color to green and also change the effect to credits. And I'll move its positioning down a little bit. I'll create a third game text operating on channel 3. With again, a different color. And new message. And last but not least, the fourth one this is going to operate on scan out. Now, scan out uses the color two. Where you'll kind of flat, it'll flash the second color and then fade into the second, uh, the primary color. You'll see it because it's going to fade from orange into like a teal color. And that should actually be good. I'm gonna change point one. Let's get up to five. All right, channel four. That's easy enough, and now I'm just going to add outputs to my trigger multiple to trigger these. Now, these do show to every player, so I want to make that very clear, that when you use this game text, it displays globally to every player on the server, so you don't really get to choose who sees it. In some games, it is shown only to the player that triggers it, because there is the all players tab uh, flag. But usually it will show to every player. It's really mod specific. I know TF2, I'm pretty sure it shows it to all players. But I'll let you guys figure that out. Um, 
this entity does not work in Counter-Strike Source. Let's make that very clear before you people comment saying that it does not work for CSS. It won't. It's broken. Now the second one is very simple. We've actually done this before. It's going to be the point server command that's going to display it from the console. So to make this, just make a point server command entity anywhere on your level. Name it. And then on the outputs tab for what triggers it, click add on start touch, trigger the serve command, command, and now the console command is just say and then your message. All right. And now, last but not least, the HUD hint. The HUD hint is very nice. It only shows to the player that activated it, and you can choose your text for each one. The bad thing about it is you do need to make one for each thing, just like the game text, so not like the server command where you can choose it. So this is And the HUD hint also does not have a time that it stays up for. Instead, we're able to use add output and then show hint and then we're able to hide the hint with another command after a delay so we have full control and of course there is the all players back flag so you can click that if you want all players to receive the HUD hint that'll actually about do it on hammer side so I'm gonna go ahead and compile this and then I'll see you guys in that team fortress 2 here we are in the ever so popular team fortress 2 I'm gonna go ahead and step on this first one and we'll see the effect that it does All right, there's all four channels. Good stuff, here's the server command one. Server command message. It'll say console on a normal server, but because I am host, I am the server, so that's what's gonna say through. And this will be the HUD hint. You'll notice that that displays on the right side and it does a little flashy effect. And in five seconds it'll go away. And you can just keep that up for as long as you want. So, I hope that this tutorial has helped you create messages that will interact with the player. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.